Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to fix an iPod Touch that won't turn on. So let's say the first example is you're using your iPod Touch and then all of a sudden you see a black screen and nothing's working. Well, here's the fix you want to do for that. So if you have the older iPod Touch models, such as iPod Touch 6th generation and older, you just want to hold down the power and home button together, hold them down for around 20 seconds. You know you're good to go because you'll see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, release the power and home button. Now, if you have the iPod Touch 7th generation on your, and unfortunately there's no real way to tell because all the iPods look the same. Instead, you just want to hold down the power and volume down buttons together, hold those two down, wait 20 seconds, and then you should be good to go. If you don't know which iPod Touch you have, try the power and home together first. If that doesn't work, do the power and volume down together, and then you should be good to go. The next scenario is you've had, you know, your iPod Touch just laying around for a very long time. Then you come back to it and, you know, you're charging it, but the iPod Touch is not turning on. The reason why this is the case is because the battery on the iPod has degraded. So over time, the iPod Touch has a battery, lithium-ion, and it will degrade. And what this means is it will be able to hold less potential charge. There'll be a point where your battery cannot hold enough charge for it to sustain itself for a long time. What does that mean in English? So you charge the iPod Touch all the way, and then when you release the charger, the iPod Touch battery just instantly dies. This does happen if the iPod Touch's battery is really bad. So, the, you know, it's not the end of the world. As long as the, the battery is actually in the iPod Touch, what you can do is you can run the iPod Touch directly from the charger instead of the battery itself. Now, in order to do this, you do need a high power battery. What does this mean? Well, a charger even. So what you're gonna need is an iPad charger, not an iPhone charger, not the iPod touch charger, but an iPad charger. This is because the regular iPhone charger is five watts. The iPod charger is also five watts. However, the iPad charger is 15 watts. And so you wanna get an iPad charger or any fast charger, which you may have laying around, you just wanna plug that in and then you should see the charging logo. This may take up to five hours, but eventually your iPod Touch will run directly off of the iPad charger. And so what that means is, okay, if you have unplugged the charger, it's gonna instantly die. However, the iPod Touch will actually turn on. So those are the two things you can follow. If those two do not work, then you're most likely going to need to do a battery replacement. Now, doing that yourself is a measurable experience because I've actually tried it on the iPod Touch SIP Gen. The main reason why is because there's no screws holding on the screen, so they use some, Apple uses some terrible system. Like, I would not recommend under any circumstances you attempt the screw, uh, the, uh, or the battery replacement yourself. So what I recommend you do is you just contact Apple via Apple support, just search up Apple support on Google, contact them, and then arrange a repair. That's the best way to go. In some situations, Apple will charge more for the repair then you could get, you know, a brand new iPod Touch from eBay or a used one. So just keep that in mind. Don't just go with Apple, you know, repair right away. Just check on eBay first. See, is it worth, uh, you know, going through Apple for the repair when I can sell this iPod Touch as 40 on eBay and then maybe get a brand new working iPod Touch for even cheaper through eBay as well. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Uh, if you, you know, did the iPad charger trick and that didn't work, then well, there's not really much you can do to solve that issue. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.